Janine, in the northern reaches of the occupied West Bank, where the days are often very different than the nights. Last night was a bad one for 40-year-old Fadi Matahen, showing us pictures of his home destroyed, he says, during the Israeli army's latest incursion. He didn't target just my house, he says. They targeted the whole area, meaning the Janine refugee camp, known as a stronghold for armed resistance to the Israeli occupation and also home to thousands of civilians. Israel says it's targeting terrorist operatives. Violent incursions by Israeli forces here and elsewhere in the occupied territories have increased dramatically since the start of the Gaza war. Mujadi Abadi was shot in the arm and leg during an arrest raid last weekend. Images of the injured 23-year-old stuck on the hood of an Israeli army vehicle have been widely condemned. They were driving back and forth, his cousin Harun tells us. They even went by ambulances and didn't stop. Abadi was visiting his uncle's home here above the Janine refugee camp when Israeli troops arrived to arrest two of his cousins. The Israeli military described Abadi as a suspect, but has also said its soldiers violated protocol in their treatment of him. People in Janine will tell you their situation, of course, is nowhere near what Palestinians are experiencing in Gaza, but it is having an impact physically, economically, and psychologically. Inam Kasrawi is a school teacher. We uh, accept that in the, any moment, they uh, come here back. The circumstances is uh, uh, not relaxed. One Israeli soldier was killed in last night's incursion and 16 others injured, apparently by a roadside bomb. Now, residents say they're bracing for potential retaliation. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Janine.